Hey guys, what is up? It's Gianna. So for today's video, it is a back to school video. It's that time of year again. You guys already know I am known for my back to school videos. This is when I post the most on my channel because you guys love my back to school videos. Every year you guys always ask me to do back to school videos and I always do them because I know how much you love them. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a back to school makeup tutorial. Now when I say back to school makeup tutorial, it means the makeup I do probably just for the first week of school. But after that first week, I just start wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt, don't do my makeup, and just don't give a crap about my appearance because I just give up at that point. Yeah, so this year, I'm going to my junior year. Um, thank God, because sophomore year was probably one of the worst years of my life, but we're just not gonna talk about it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Just do a really quick, natural, back to school makeup look, and it's gonna take only like 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love you guys so much, and let's get around into this. Hello! So yes, this is the voiceover. So we're gonna start off by using my Talimar X Over Cosmetics Moisturizer because you need to keep your face moisturized throughout the day. And then we're gonna be using a primer. This is the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. And I'm gonna be using that only on my T-zone and where I'm gonna be putting my concealer because for this tutorial, I'm not gonna be using any foundation. I feel like that's too much for a school makeup tutorial, you know? Because I don't personally wear foundation to school. So I'm gonna be using just my ColourPop no filter concealer on my t-zone and under my eyes where i get the most oily and where i have my dark circles and my acne and i'll be blending that in using my beauty blender Alright, so after I'm done blending the concealer, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I am not going to be baking, I'm actually going to be using my damp beauty sponge and actually pouncing the powder into my wet concealer because this helps your concealer from creasing throughout the day and it also stops your oils from oilying. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense, but it helps you not be oily throughout the days and also helps your makeup stay on longer. So pressing the translucent powder into your skin and letting it melt into the concealer, it just helps you from getting oily throughout the day and also not getting creasy throughout the day. So <laughs> yeah, I'm really good at explaining things, I know. Anyways, now we're going to go on to the powder for the rest of the face. I'm using my All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Powder and just pressing that into the skin. Use my powder brush because this is like a waterproof powder, so it makes me feel a little more protected. I don't know if it's actually waterproof, but whatever. So now we're going to go on to some bronzer. I'm using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm going to be bronzing up my cheekbones, under my jawline, on my forehead, on my nose, so I don't look like an actual ghost since the powder literally washes out my face so much. So after I'm done with that, I want to add color back into my skin, so I'm using my MAC Peaches Blush, and I'm going to be putting that on my cheekbones and on my nose just to add color back into my skin since I'm still looking very washed out. So now I am going into my highlighter. This is the Pure Nude Essence Highlighter. I don't know why I have it up down I'm I'm so sorry but uh, this is one of my favorite natural highlighters it's just very subtle and it's not like too blinding for school you know what I mean so that's what I'm doing here I'm putting it on my cheekbones on my nose on my cupid's bow in the inner corners of my eyes and under my eyebrows so now onto eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Gimme Brow by Benefit and I'm just going to be using that to color in my eyebrows since in the morning I don't want to use like a pencil in the morning to color in my eyebrows since I'm just way too lazy for that. So now we're going to go on to the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I'm just going to be setting my face since I want to keep my makeup lasting all day long. So that's what I'm going to be doing here and just I'm going to be drying it off with my hands. Alright, we are almost done. We're going to go on to eyelashes. First curling my eyelashes. I honestly don't know where I got this eyelash curler from. It's really that old so I can't not tell you and I'm gonna be putting on some mascara this is my Too Faced mascara and you know putting on mascara how we do I don't know how else to explain this and the last thing I'm gonna be taking off the concealer I have on my lips with my makeup wipe and using some chapstick since you don't want to look crusty dusty and that's it so this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this kind of helped you figure out what you're going to do for your makeup for the first day of school or something like that. If you're a freshman or if you just don't know anything about makeup, I hope this kind of helped you, you know, I don't know. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you comment below any back to school video suggestions you guys want to see from me because I would love to know and hear you guys out. And uh, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time.